All right, I just did the DVR mod on my uh, uh, range video head play goggles. <clears throat> this is not the more recent model that came with the DVR. So uh, what I did is, um, at, at first look of the instructions, um, you know, my thought was, oh, okay, they've got video in and video out. This needs to go in line with the... Uh, the video feed. So I'm thinking, okay, I'll I'll take one of these wires, that's the video feed coming from the receiver to the main board, and I'll cut it in half and go, you know, the video in to the to the receiver side, the video out to the goggle side, and then uh we'll be good. And then I thought, you know what, I really don't want another link in, you know, another point of signal break, another set of connections. Um, you know, if it's already staticky, um, just a couple more dB of signal loss could, could be the difference between good video or not. Um, so, so what I did is I used the, the AV2, uh, input for the video out. So, so we've got the grounds coming from the video in, uh, to the, to the ground here. This is, this is the bottom side of the, uh, of the little connector that goes to the, to the, the video receiver. Um, so this is the AV, uh, AV1 input. So I, I tapped in my video and my audio and my ground for, for those uh, to that. And then the audio and video and ground uh, to the AV2 input. So, uh, and then, and then uh, power uh, five volt and ground. There, there's quite a few places, but, but there's a ground here and a five volt here. Um, you know, there's also some 5 volts and 3 volts and 12 volts, and it's kind of all over the place. But um, I use this because it was kind of in line and convenient for wire management. Um, but uh, yeah, so so this is actually working out pretty well. Um, I just did a little little record test. Um, so basically, uh, when you go to AVN2 on the goggles, and you just use the use the the regular source on the on the goggles, when you when you go to AVN2, you get a slightly more pixelated uh, version of what what's coming in the video receiver um, with the with the uh, DVR menu overlay. So you can go to uh, AVN2, start your recording, or use AVN2 to um, to review your recordings. Um, but this way, there's 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 no extra breaks in the connection. I'm just tapping into things, and um, the video quality. Um, is um, a bit worse coming out of the the video out. So so I think my um, my choice to do it this way, even though it's not quite as convenient having to switch sources, um, um, my video while I'm flying isn't degraded at all by the uh, the additional link of having the DVR in the loop rather than just tapped in uh, in parallel. So hopefully that helps, and uh, go record your stuff. Happy flying.